Uncontrolled bleeding is a leading cause of death from injury, and injuries can occur in things we do every day, whether in the kitchen or on the playground. There are simple techniques that you can learn to help stop bleeding. First and foremost, call 911 and get help. Second, if you have gloves available, make sure you wear them. If you have a Stop the Bleed kit, it has everything you need and you can use that. The first technique is applying direct pressure. You'll need to expose the wound to identify where the bleeding is coming from. Then you can use a t-shirt, cloth, or gauze that you have available. You're going to use two hands and place one over the other, applying direct pressure to the wound. You may need to use your body weight to ensure that adequate pressure is applied to stop bleeding. If bleeding continues or the wound is large, you may need to use the second technique, which is packing the wound. Again, you can use a t-shirt or cloth or gauze if you have it available. You'll insert the material into the wound, continuing until you can't fit any more material into the wound or bleeding has stopped. You'll then go back to applying direct pressure to that wound. If bleeding continues on an extremity, such as an arm or a leg, you may have to use a third technique, such as using the tourniquet. In order to apply a tourniquet, you're going to place it about two inches above the level of injury or two finger breaths. You'll then tighten the tourniquet down, securing the Velcro strap. You can further tighten the tourniquet using the windlass until bleeding has stopped. This will cause pain and it helps if you can tell the person to expect that. You'll lock the windlass into the C-clip using the remaining Velcro strap to secure the rod and then cover with the time Velcro. If you can, mark the time you've applied the tourniquet or make a mental note that you can tell emergency responders. For more information on Stop the Bleed training or to purchase Stop the Bleed kits, please visit StopTheBleed.org.